All right guys, let's get straight into this salt water mixing station. Okay, this is everything you will need. Don't worry, you either can screenshot it or I have everything in the description listed. I'm gonna make this super simple. If you haven't dealt with PVC, it can be overwhelming because that's how it was the first time I did this, so it's really not. Um, I need to go over a few things. So this is what it comes with when you buy these tractor supply, 35 gallons, by the way. Um, so this is what it comes with. Obviously, this is not one inch. I know there's an adapter you can get to just mount the PVC through to it, but I didn't go that route. I just cut it, made it bigger, and got these bulkheads that are gonna go in. So that's that's the thing I did different. Um, so this you would have to cut out and then cut a hole here for the actual pipe PVC to come and go in here. For that, you're gonna need this one. Probably can use something else, but this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna secure it from the bottom and the PVC will go right inside. So if I were you, I would cut, if you're doing it this way, I would cut the holes first. So cut it bigger, cut that one, and that's the ATO, uh, not the ATO, reverse osmosis valve. I don't know if you can see it in there. Right there. I kinda already did that right now, so, I did that earlier because I didn't know if it was gonna fit, but yeah. On this, just make sure where you're putting it, it's not, when it stops, it's not gonna touch the top. So if you go too high, it's not gonna stop completely because it's gonna hit the top, so measure that good. Okay, another thing you're gonna need to know is each one, each PVC, I don't even know what these are called. I'm not an expert on PVC and stuff, but every adapter, I should say, it's one inch. So when you put the PVC in, it's one inch. So when you're measuring, just make sure when you're dry fitting, whatever, make sure you're accounting for that one inch that it goes in there. So keep that in mind because that's it's gonna be important. So first thing starts, we're gonna attach these and then the bulkhead, I think they're called bulkhead. This one, we're gonna attach those and get everything started. Um, so on this, on the pump, obviously you're gonna need a pump. This is from my past um, salt water mixing station. I didn't want to order this part because I had it obviously glued on. So I'm just using these um, unions. You don't need this. Obviously, if you have a new pump, it's going to already have the little slip fit. So you're not going to need it. So disregard that. I'm just doing that because that's kind of what I have to do. So first PVC cut, four inches. Because don't forget, one inch is gonna go in and then we're gonna use the T. So one inch in there, one inch in there. We don't need that much here, so like so. So four inches is a good um, cut for the ones that are going in here. So bam, bam. Then we're gonna take the T's. Pop that in. Don't worry, we're just dry fitting now, so just make sure you got everything just measured, because you don't want to come short. Just make sure that one inch, because that one inch can really mess you up. Also, this table uh, is one of the Rubbermaid tables. I don't know if this is going to hold, but I'm, I'm probably never going to fill this thing up completely. But. Um, if I need to, I'll change the table if it starts shaking. I wouldn't advise using one of these, so let's keep that in mind. All right, that's it. We cut our first PVC, we got our first adapters on. All right guys, next cut, three inches. So this is gonna be for your actual, where you're gonna take the water out. So here, and then you're gonna take this one. Bam. Obviously it's gonna go a little more. Um, that same to the other side and now you have your 
water dispensing station. Also, I got all this stuff from Bulk Resupply. Um, I compared it with Amazon and it's pretty much the same price. The only thing that's not the same price is these ball valves. These were 15 bucks on Amazon. And I think they're like 30 or 40 dollars on Bulk Resupply. I'm not hitting on Bulk Resupply, they have everything I need all the time. But like when you can save some money, save some money. 15 bucks, like it's legit the same thing. They're one inch, comes off. You can do some cleaning or not. It's exactly the same thing. So um, I don't see any problem with these. So yeah. So duplicate this on the other side. So this is what it should look like if you're following along and you're doing this with me. Um, yeah, obviously it's gonna go in a little more once we like fit it completely and um, start gluing this stuff. So there you have it. All right guys, so I say the trickiest part, if, I mean, if you're good with measurements, you're good to go. But I would put the PVC, depending on how um, how far your tanks are and where you're putting the, um, the pump, this is gonna be a little different. So what I always do, I measure this part to the pump first and then make sure it's lined up with these. So I put that, I don't put these in first, I put the middle, PVC first and then we can measure out this part. So that one's gonna be a little tricky. So um, Just do your measurements right on that part. So I was wrong you we do we are gonna need two PVCs not one so two for sure um, I forgot last the last one I did was a while ago. So definitely two okay, so clearly I'm not an expert on measurements So I did five inches five inches now. I'm just gonna have to measure out what this is, one inch in there, one inch in there, two, and see exactly what the difference is and try to keep that centered. So that's where I'm at right now. For so far, so good. Um, I wanted to have like even amount on this side. So that's that's what the goal is. Obviously it didn't work out for me, but I mean, it looks better if it was even, but still the same thing. It'll work the same. So I did five inches, four inches, which is supposed to be the same, but it is what it is, it came out good, it's gonna work. I only have this much left, so hopefully I have enough to go up and into the salt bin. So let's find out. As I made a mistake, uh, we do not need these. These, I don't even know what degree that is. We're, we're just gonna need 245s. So I cut this 15 inches, it's gonna go here, and then down into there. And then we're pretty much done. Um, so these little unions, you can put them like here, wherever you want to joint. I mean, it's good to have unions because this way you could take it apart anywhere you want. So technically if you wanted some more, actually you don't need them here because uh, these things come off. So they already have little slip unions. But if you wanted one here, here, wherever you want, like that's what they're for. Like. You can just take things apart without messing anything up pretty much. So currently we're going from the pump into the salt water mixing tank. So I got up to 15 inches, put a 45 elbow. We're gonna go here, straight down. This is all I have left from those two PVCs. So I was definitely wrong. Two PVCs for sure. Um, so get a third if, uh, if you make any errors. Um, so this is what we got. Obviously measure it. Make sure you got the one inch and then in. All right, so let's talk about how this actually works, right? Cause it looks confusing. You're like, how the heck does it work? Anyways, reverse osmosis, fill this tank up, however much you want, stop it, why not? There's no water flowing, it's all in here. So now you wanna get this water into this tank so you can make some salt, right? Pop that open, leave this closed obviously, open in order to come turn on the pump so it'll just suck water into this tank and that's it so once you got however many gallons you want turn off the pump shut that valve off right so now we have water here to mix so now you would open this valve up and you would turn on the pump so now the water would just flow up and in so just a big circle for mixing right um, and then you would just add in your saw you could throw a heater in there heat it up and what we would do in the next video, once everything is glued up um, 
and running, we're gonna add a pump in the back to get more uh, circulation to mix that salt. So stay tuned next video, we're gonna glue this. Uh, it's pretty much done, we're just gonna glue it, we're gonna turn it on, make sure there's no leaks, and if there's leaks, I'm gonna show you what to do. So get some of this, um, you got the primer and glue, works really good, fast drying. Um, so yeah guys, stay tuned next video. We're gonna turn this puppy on and mix some salt water for that 20 gallon cube. Seems like a lot, but it's not. Just get some extra PVC if you know you're gonna screw up, so, and you'll be done. Everything else, you can't, you're not cutting it, so you don't have to worry about like messing it up. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're doing all kinds of cool things with saltwater water.